My name's Ronnie. How are you? Um, today we're going to talk about something that we don't like to do, but we have to. These things are called chores. Chores are tasks or small jobs that we have to do around the house. Or we can call it housework. Now, there are many kinds of chores. You may have to do chores at your job. You may have to do chores outside. You may have to do chores in many different places. But I'm just going to go through chores specifically that you have to do in your house or housework. We have two verbs that we use many times and they're very confusing. Whether to use do or whether to use make in English with these <laughs> expressions. So, to help you, I think I figured it out. This took me a while. I had to think, why do we say do the dishes and we don't say do my bed? Why do we have to say make my bed? Dictionaries don't help you. They just say use do, use make. Thanks, dictionary. So I went back into the recesses of Ronnie's brain and I found the answer. Do, basically, is a replacement for the word wash. Yay. So you can use either wash or do. They're the same verb. Well, no, they're not the same verb. It's the same meaning. Different verb, same meaning. So, for example, we would normally say, do the dishes, which means, wash the dishes. Dishes are plates, cups, um, knives and forks or chopsticks. Anything that you eat with or eat from is a dish. So we have to do the dishes or wash the dishes. We also have to do the laundry. Do the laundry means you have to wash your clothes or someone else's clothes. Um, we also do the bathroom. Not bathroom. We actually, it's an M here. Um, when we say do the bathroom, it sounds strange, but it's what we say. It means we have to clean the bathroom. We have to clean the toilet. We have to clean the bathtub, or maybe the shower, and also the sink. Um, a sink is the place where you wash your hands after you go to the toilet. Please do this. <laughs> um, the other thing that we would say is do the windows. Maybe you have a window in your bathroom. I don't know. Do you? Um, but definitely, you will probably, hopefully, have a window in your house. So you would say, oh, yay, I have to do the windows. This means you're going to clean or wash the windows. Um, the verb make. It took me a while to figure this one out. When we say make my bed, or make someone's bed, make his bed, her bed, we are not actually creating something, all we are doing is if this is our bed and this is my pillow, the pillow is the thing that you put your, your head on, when we sleep, I know with me, my blankets are all scattered around. What I do when I make the bed is I take the blankets and I put the blanket back to the original neat position. If I say make my lunch or make my dinner or make my breakfast, you can actually think about this as creating something. This is washing it, this is creating it. Um, you wouldn't really create your bed, but you'd make it look nice. So you can think of it as a creation or an art piece. You've got lots of pillows. Um, the other thing that we make is a mess. This isn't a chore, but it's what we have to do. Make a mess means 
to get many things and put them all over the place. If you're in the kitchen, you're cooking, you take things out of the cupboards and you put them on the counter and you throw things around. That's how I cook. And you finish eating and like, uh oh, there's a mess. So you make a mess. You create a mess. The very last one is actually a verb and a noun. <gasps> the horror. A vacuum is a thing that we use to clean the carpets. This is a verb on its own. If you are studying British English, they will call it a Hoover. Hoover in North America is the brand name of what we call a vacuum. But in England, or in Britain, sorry, not in England, in Britain, um, they would say Hoover. In North America, we say vacuum. Um, so I will draw a picture of a very beautiful vacuum. There we go. Awesome. Um, hello. It's a vacuum. Yeah, trust me, it's a vacuum. So what happens is the vacuum goes along, and you push it, and it sucks up the dirt off of the carpet. This is the dirt sucking area here. So it makes your carpets super clean. So you can use this as a verb. You say, I have to vacuum. Or if you're studying British English, they'd say, I have to hoover. And this machine is actually called a vacuum or a hoover. Hoover, hoover. What we've done on the Ingvid website is there's a list. You have to go to the resources page on ingvid.com and there is a list of verbs, do and make, and more verbs to help you with things like cleaning. <laughs> or if you're confused about other ways that we use do or make, go to the resources page on Invig, Invid. Where? And that you can print out the list of verbs. I hope that's helped you. I'm going to go do the bathroom now. Bye. <laughs>